The militant group Hamas has launched thousands of rockets from Gaza into Israel, demanding that the Israelis lift a seven-year blockade of Gaza. Israel launched its offensive to take out the Hamas rockets. 864 Palestinians have been killed, the vast majority of them civilians. 16 were killed yesterday when a U.N. school was hit. Barry Peterson met their families today. For Abed Rabu, a quiet graveside moment with his 18-month-old daughter killed at the U.N. school yesterday. I want to know your thoughts as you stand here at the grave of your daughter, Soha. It's like I've lost part of myself, he said. She used to smile and play, and then suddenly she was gone. All of these new graves are from people who were killed in the school incident. They were buried so hurriedly that families can only mark the grave with a piece of cardboard attached to a stick. The UN sent weapons experts to the school today to investigate the attack, but they had to turn back due to heavy gunfire in the area. The Israelis claim surveillance drones have spotted Hamas militants using schools, hospitals, and mosques for military purposes. And twice, the UN has found Hamas storing weapons in its vacant schools. But it also means heavy civilian casualties in Gaza, where more women and children have been killed than Hamas soldiers. Today, we met one more casualty from the school incident, when Abed Rabu took us to see his badly wounded 13-year-old son, Ahmed. I was hit by shrapnel, he told us. I couldn't do anything for my family because I was bleeding. Can we ask him how he's feeling? And just when it seemed Abed Rabu was almost unable to feel, was numb from what had happened to his family, the pain finally poured out. And Barry Peterson is joining us in Gaza City. Barry, when you see Abed Rabu, it makes you ask, have the civilians lost their enthusiasm for the goals of Hamas? Well, you know, I think after eight years of blockade by Israel, this is a place of poverty and desperation. Hamas, I think, is convincing people that the sacrifices of this war could somehow change that. I think that's why Hamas, for the moment, is keeping its support. Barry Peterson, thank you very much.